on, guys. What up? Woo. Good morning, everybody. Ah, man. It's uh, Monday morning right now, and this is the second week of the game game series. I just weighed myself 67.4. My Sunday weigh-in was 68.1, but I did expect it to be lower today. Uh, yesterday, I had a football game. I play football on Sunday still. Me running around for 90 minutes is obviously very... Intense cardio. Uh, I was so tired yesterday. I was with uh, Vera all day recording the video and we went uh, shopping a little bit. So my food wasn't the best, uh, I don't think. And um, so I expected to be a little bit lower today. Right now we just have to get up, get going and get eating because uh, tomorrow I don't want to uh, be in this area of weight again. I want to go up again to 68. So uh, let's get to downstairs and let's start with our oats. This is our Dutch Bright right here, Max Verstappen, F1 champion, bro. Well, he won a race, let's just keep it that way. In today's video, I do want to go over the whole workout routine. So from Monday till Friday, um, we'll probably jump in that after this scene because I do have some stuff that I had to take care of today uh, that are pretty important for the online coaching stuff. So uh, I need to do that. And um, so after the breakfast and lunch, I'll just go over um, those things, why, how, and the plan for like the 10 or 12 weeks that I'll be build bulking, depending on how fast it goes, obviously. But, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I look forward to it. I just have to eat food now and get ready, and then uh, we'll go over the workout routine. And after that, um, we might also do a workout in the video. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see how long the workout explaining takes. But I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. We are here to talk about the workout routine that I made for myself. I'll put it up on the screen right now so you can follow me along. I'm just gonna put a picture up on it on your screen. I divided it in uh, four sections. The, the first one is week one, two, four. And then it's a deload week, then uh, week six to nine, and then not a deload week, which is 10 weeks, two deload weeks after uh, four weeks of intense training, obviously. So day number one is chest and triceps. Bench press is something that I want to improve on. So uh, I decided to go with seven sets. It's a little bit more volume. And uh, two, I implement some strength training in there. So so the way I do it now to start off my gym session with the, uh, compound, the compound movements like deadlifts, bench press, or squats, is I do a three times five and then a four times 10 after. So three times five is obviously more uh, towards strength baits and, and getting the lifts up and getting the numbers up. Four sets of 10 is obviously to like add some more volume to that, uh, work more in the hypertrophy range, and uh, that's obviously gonna help us build some mass as well. I just say though, it's very, very tough, like three times five, four times 10, I'm like done after, so I, uh, it kinda is uh, a lot, but I have to see if it's too much. If it's too much, I, I might cut down on like e either uh, like one set, or like one whole exercise. It depends on how I feel. In the coming weeks, we'll see if it starts to hurt anywhere or anything is gonna be going wrong. Uh, if that's the case, we'll change it up. Uh, the second exercise is gonna be incline dumbbell press. I wanted to implement some incline. Uh, week six to nine, I start with incline bench press instead of normal bench press because incline obviously is also very important. The top like, makes your chest look fuller and bigger. So uh, I wanted to do a clean incline dumbbell press. Um, three times eight, so a little bit less volume, not do crazy, something like standard. Uh, <clears throat> machine press, same thing, and then cable crossover to finish it off. And then for triceps, we do close grip bench press um, five times eight, so big combat lift for triceps that I never really did um, because I didn't really like it, but I'm starting to learn it again, I'm starting to like it again, so um, five times eight, and then some straight bar extensions, just easy money, to finish off the triceps five times eight, so we have 10 sets of triceps and then day number two deadlift same thing um as with the chest uh the, the the composition of the workouts are pretty much the same thing so it's one big compound movement like the squat the deadlift or bench press and then three other movements that i really like so uh for, on back day it's deadlift and then lat pull down v-bar pull down with a little um, closer handle and then a face pull for the traps and then barbell uh, curls and cable curls for biceps to finish it off 
Uh, same thing with, with biceps 5 times 8 and then a 5 times 10. So uh, as well, 10 sets. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, the composition, the way it's structured is the same thing as um, on chest day and it, any other day for, for that matter. Uh, day number three is legs. It's on a Wednesday. Um, I have Sunday, I have football. And then usually Monday, I li uh, I'm sore. And then Tuesday, maybe a little bit. And then Wednesday, I'm okay. Uh, so I did want to do it on Wednesday. And then I have Thursday and Friday and Saturday to regenerate for that, for the match on Sunday. So that's why I do that. Um, squats, same thing. Seven sets, three times five, four by 10. Um, close stance, leg press. I wanted to um, do a close stance one because it really puts more emphasis on the outside, like of the quad, so it makes your quad look wider. Uh, that's something I want to improve on. Um, walking lunges are very tough. Uh, they will work your glutes really well, and they just a very great exercise. And then uh, the calf raises. Obviously, we don't want to forget about calves. My hair isn't like really annoying me. Um, and then I added shoulders to my leg day. The reason is because I don't hit shoulders on any other day. I just didn't want to do it on chest day because I want to concentrate fully on chest since that's way more important for me to grow right now. My shoulders are will always be okay. I did want to do a shoulder day in my routine since I just don't want to skip it every time. So, you know, uh, military press, five times eight, side raises. Three times eight with three uh, drop sets, so it's like nine sets of side raises, but it's perfect. You should definitely do that. Um, and then real dead flush for the for the um, back. And four day and uh, day number five is the same thing as the first three days, but then I change up a little bit of the um, exercise. I, for example, I do. Um, incline dumbbell and an incline machine press instead of normal machine press. I do low cable fly instead of uh, from high, I do from low. Back, I didn't, don't start with deadlifts. I deadlift one time a week. I start with weighted pull-ups. It really hits more of the lats. Uh, deadlift is more like the, the strength, thickness of the back. And then with weighted pull-ups, we really wanna focus on the widthness of the back a little bit more. Um, some rear delt flies again. And then on the fifth day, again, we have forearm curls. We do one exercise for forearms, <laughs> only one. I just hate training forearms. So um, yeah, and then we pretty much have everything uh, except for the traps, we do the upper traps. We really don't have anything for that. Um, I might add in some shrugs here or there. Not sure where yet. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole uh, workout routine that be, I will be doing for the next 10 weeks. We had what, week number one already. Uh, this is the second week. It's going very well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was something that you learned from. If you have the screenshot, good. Try it out if you want to. It's really, really intense. I'm very used to training high intensity, but this is like next level shit. There's like, I'm really tired after this. So, um, Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.